In this section, we will talk about creation and maintaining of price list in Tally. In Tally, we can define price list where we can predefine selling price of an item. We can define various price list for various buyers. For example, we can maintain a separate price list which would be applicable to wholesale buyers and a separate price list which would be applicable to retailers. In the price list, we can define the selling price of an item based on the quantity of item that the buyer purchase. So depending upon the quantity, the price, the selling price of the item would be varying. So let's find out how do we set up price list in Tally. In order to use price list, we will need to enable price list in Tally. And in order to do that, press the F11 key, select the option inventory features. And over here, in the field use multiple price levels set this option to yes and press the enter key now as soon as you enable price list you would be asked to define price levels so i'm going to define a price list for wholesalers and i'm also going to define a price list which would be applicable to retail buyers And similarly, you can keep on defining various price lists that you want to maintain for separate buyers. So for this example, I'm going to define two price levels. One, with, one would be applicable to wholesalers and another would be applicable to retail buyers. And then press Ctrl A to save these settings. And press Ctrl A again. So with this, we have enabled price list in Tally. And now we are going to define the price list itself. And in order to do that, press the escape key and go to the option inventory info. And over here, we have an option called price list. You need to select it and press the enter key. Now, when you select the price list option, you would be asked for what stock groups you want to define price list. I want to define uh, price list for all the stock group items. So I'll select the option all items over here and i want to define a price list for wholesalers first and then i will define a price list for retailers so let me select the price level over here in the field price level and the price level is wholesalers price list and specify the date from which the price list would be applicable so i will leave it to default date which is first of april 2019 now on the right side of your screen you can look that i have defined four stock items there are two laptops and two mobiles and i'm going to define price list for each of these stock items so for my first stock item laptop if anyone buys this laptop up to 15 units that is less than 15 units of this laptop then the rate at which it should get sold should be 20,000 rupees and you can see over here we have the cost price of this laptop which is 10,000 per unit and further if I want to provide any discount for the given quantity then I can specify it over here but I do not want to provide any discount when the quantity is less than 15 units so I'm not going to specify any discount or percentage over here and then the same item laptop one if the if it is bought above 15 units and up to 25 units then it should be sold at slight lower rate of rupees 18,000 and I will provide a discount of 1% to anyone who purchased these laptops between 15 units to 25 units and similarly I can keep on specifying the criteria that anyone who buys this laptop above 15 units then it will be sold at 16,000 rupees with a 2% of discount. And similarly, I can define price list for my another laptop, which is laptop 2. So if it is sold anywhere between 0 to 14 units, it should be sold at 15,000 rupees. And above 15 units, it should be sold at 13,000 rupees with 1% of discount. So in this way, we can keep defining the price list for each and every stock item which you have created.
and once you are done with specifying the price list you can press ctrl a to save the price list all right so with this we created our price list for wholesaler now we will create our price list applicable to retail buyers so now we need to select the price level over here as retail price list over here and define the date from which this price list would be applicable and similarly we can keep on entering the quantity details and set the rate at which it should be sold so let me just uh, define some rates and the quantity something like this and then press ctrl a and save this price list as well all right so we defined both the price list one would be applicable to retailers and another for wholesalers now let's uh, record our sales entry and see what effect the price list would have on the entry so i will go back to gateway of tally and select the option accounting vouchers i am already in the sales voucher so let me just uh, enter any reference number and this is going to be a cash transaction and then we would be asked to specify the price list depending on the type of transaction assuming that i am selling these items to a wholesaler so i'll select the wholesaler's price list and specify the item which i'm selling so i'm selling this laptop one and i'm going to sell 25 units of this laptop and if you remember for 25 units of this laptop being sold we are selling it at 16000 rupees with 2% of discount so as soon as i specify the quantity and press the enter key the rate would be captured automatically and if we calculate the total amount that is 25 multiplied by 16000 so amount is 4 lakh rupees and with 2% of discount we are required to deduct rupees 8000 from 4 lakhs okay so 392000 would be the total sales value so the price list is working as per what we have defined so once you uh, specify the quantity the price would be captured automatically and then further you can specify the sales ledger that you want to account for and then specify the gst ledgers and then press ctrl a and save the entry so this was one way to use price list another way would be to define the buyers and specify whether they are wholesalers or retailers and in order to do that you need to go back to gateway of tally and let me just specify a ledger for a buyer called as wholesale buyer and all buyers are grouped under sundry data and as soon as you specify the group you would be asked to specify the price list which would be applicable on this buyer since uh, this is a wholesale buyer so the price list which would be applicable would be wholesalers price list so in this way we can uh, define the buyers and uh, retail buyers and wholesale buyer and specify the applicability of price list over here so once you specify the price list which would be applicable on a particular buyer and when you try to pass the sales entry when you select that buyer the price list would be selected by default now not necessary that all the time the price that you are going to sell would be same at some period you would want to revise the price list and in order to revise the price list we need to go back to the price list options by selecting inventory info select the option price list and then press alt r i want to change the price for all the laptops and i want to change it for retailers and the new price would be applicable from 2nd of april and this time there is an increase in amount of prices in laptop so I, I will select the option increase by amount over here and i would be asked by how much rupees the price has been increased so i'll specify that all the laptops should be increased for rupees 100 
and whether I want to revise discount or not I will specify not applicable so with this uh, all the laptop amounts for retailers would be increased by 100 rupees and if you want to specifically change price for individual units of laptops then you can also do it by specifying your uh, user defined price as follows and so on so that was all about price levels and price list in tally and if you have noticed whenever we revise the price list we are forced to increase amount for each and every stock item which may not be the desired case sometimes we may want to just uh, increase price of a particular item assume that I want to increase price for laptop 1 but not for laptop 2 so in such case how do we uh, revise the price list is uh, this time I will revise the price list for all the mobiles by pressing alt r and select the option stock groups as mobiles over here because I want to change price list for mobiles and specify the price list and date of applicability and what I want to do is I want to increase the price of all the mobiles by zero rupees so with this there would not be any change in each and every mobile stock items and then I can go to a particular stock item in mobile and specify the revised price for that particular item and then press ctrl A and save the new price list so now let me just view the price list for all the mobiles which would be applicable from 2nd April we can see that the price for most of the items are same except for mobile number 2 when it is sold up to 30 units so in this way we can individually change the price of each stock item and with this i conclude this section on price list